Hi all and uh, welcome back to this small help video. Today we are going to talk about the screen, the most essential part of your iPad and how you can fix uh, different issues and uh, of course also have a look at how to clean your screen the right way. And first of all, uh, let's have a look at how to clean the screen because a lot of people do not know or ask questions at least on how to do that the best and the right way. So what I always recommend people to do is to have a microfiber cloth thing to uh, do the wiping with and of course make it a bit wet if it's necessary if your screen is too dirty or there is things stuck on the screen. I have kids myself so sometimes they have fingers that is not that uh, clean and uh, sometimes use my iPad uh, on the screen. So uh, make sure to use a good fiber, uh, microfiber cloth thing or if the wet cloth doesn't do the job then some uh, wipers can also be a good idea to use uh, on the screen. Be a bit gentle with those and not use them too often on the screen because it can sometimes actually damage the screen so be gentle with the wipers on the screen but it is actually possible to do it the, a good way and make sure to have a clean screen if you are having issues with touching the screen if it's not responding as you expected or whatever that can be on the screen then make sure to clean it often i would say once a week or something like that if you use your ipad every day then at least clean your screen once a week. Another thing, of course, regarding cleaning iPads in general, then there is also the microphone and the loudspeakers on the iPad that can have issues. So also make sure to clean those, find a hole for the microphone and clean that out. If you are having issues with your microphone or if it's with your sound, then make sure also to clean the way the place where the loudspeakers are placed and make sure they, those are clean as well. I don't clean mine every week, but uh, once a month, I would say to clean the whole iPad just to make sure that it is working the best way. Another thing that can also cause trouble is the covers. Uh, I have a cover for my iPad here. I have just taken the iPad out for this video, but uh, I have a protection cover for my iPad and that sometimes can also cause issues with the touch uh, on your screen. So if you are having issues with not responding iPad, then uh, try to just for a while take it out of the cover and see if that is something that can help. Another thing with the screen is of course, there is the software that uh, also have a lot of things to do with the, the screen. So if you go into uh, settings and go into accessibility in here, you have a different, uh, a lot of different uh, ways to uh, set up your screen. And uh, in here you have a section uh, where there is a setting called touch. If you go into that one, you have some settings in here where you can uh, put on assistive touch. Uh, but under the touch accommodations, if you go into that one, there you have some settings where you can actually do uh, different things. And the one I'm looking for here is the touch accommodations, the first one. So if you're having issues when you touch the screen and it's not responding, try to turn that one on. The iPad will be a bit more adjusted to the issues and uh, will uh, I have seen it at least work for some issues that the screen now responds as you expected. Another thing is the screen in general. We are looking at it for Netflix series and all kinds of stuff. So you would like to have a perfect working screen. And uh, if you go into display and text size, in here you have a lot of different settings to uh, either put the screen in a more uh, 
classic in word, in word way, so it's easier to see when uh, it's daylight and a lot of other different things you can actually turn on and off. But the one I was looking for here is the auto brightness. Uh, if you are having issues with the screen not responding or not looking the way you expected it to and you're not able to see your game on the iPad, then try to turn off the auto brightness that can sometimes have an issue. And especially if your camera is not working the best way, the auto brightness cannot work as well. So if you are either the camera has broken or whatever, then turn off the auto brightness and then you can of course do it the, your own way to set the brightness on the screen instead of the software is doing it for you. So turn that one off, I would say. Then we have uh, another thing that you can have a look at if your touch is not working as you expected it to. Then you can of course use your loudspeaker or the microphone to give Siri uh, commands that it should do. But uh, another thing is the assistive touch. And if you haven't used the assistive touch, then uh, you can see there comes this icon down here. And here you will uh, get some uh, different options that you can control your iPad with. And for example, then you can turn on Siri. Siri? Hey I'm Siri. I'm up and running. Alrighty. Turn down the brightness on the screen. And uh, there you go, it is actually working as expected. So you can do a lot of different uh, things with uh, this assistive touch and uh, you can go into the control panel, you go home and in I'm the custom. I'm not sure I understand. And uh, now Siri close. To force an app to close, double click the home button. Then swipe up on the app's preview to close it. All right, and then uh, you can use Siri for everything and you can use the assistive touch if you would like. In here you can turn on and up the volume and you can lock the screen and rotate and do things in a lot of different ways. And on the more you have even more things you can actually touch on. So that is a very Good help to have that uh, one assistive touch running if you are not able to touch the screen the best way. All right, I hope uh, this has given you some ideas. One thing I of course forgot was to do the soft reset or the reboot of your device. If you are having issues with the screen, I have seen a lot of times that uh, just turning your iPad off and turn it on and let me see if I can do this, yes. And you can turn it off and then turn it on again. That helps a lot of problems getting solved just by doing a very simple reboot of your device. So hopefully you could uh, give some, uh, get some good inputs on how to use and solve some of your screen issues. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up or ask me questions in the comments section on the video. Thank you for all of this and uh, thank you for listening to my video. So hope to see you soon, bye.